go. Now we're in the mountains, catching mountain trout and salmon. Oh man, there's one sur surface right there. My first casts. Oh my goodness, y'all. Up here with OSG, I'm gonna try to get a little dinner. Literally. Oh, we got one following it. Little guy. I do have the secret sauce lure. It'll get them. I have to put it on for some quick trout. Ooh, it's fish jumping. It's weird. Like normally we would say, oh yeah, it's a carp. Not here. It's a trout. A little mountain rain, y'all. Look at it up there. Coming in. My goal here is to just catch two decent fish for me and Stephanie to eat tonight. And she's got grits that she can make. Absolute deliciousness. This is what I was missing last time I was here. Some delicious sides. This rain will just hold off just a minute. Let me catch them. I'm gonna walk down here to this point. Just saw one surface right there. Come on. I might have to switch my game up. All right, you guys, we're gonna switch up to the old rocket minnow. Woo! I actually don't know if that's what it's called. I know it's an old school Mets lure. Do you believe in me, honey? I do. I believe in you so much that I left you in charge of dinner tonight. Wow. It's a lot of pressure. OSG trusts her man. Oh, it it always. I trusted you enough that I let you pretty much set up camp. <laughs> I trust you so much that I actually came on this outdoor excursion with you without even worrying. A little, not even a little worry? I mean, I was like I anxious, you... but I wasn't like worried. Does that make sense? Because you had me. Yeah. Until you saw the bears. Oh, yeah. It turned out to be cows. <laughs> you got my secret minnow now. It's over. If this rain would just stop, like, they literally started coming up. Oh, got him. Nope, that's a rock. Got it. No need to worry. There's a rainbow. Where? Oh, yeah. Rainbow for the rainbow trout. Oh, there he was. You see him? These trout are out here. I got to figure them out. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way across. Look over here. Yeah. That is a pretty r rainbow. I need a rainbow trout right by the rainbow. That'd be the most incredible shot ever if the GoPro actually picked it up. First fish on. Just switched baits. Dinner, baby. Trout. Lure switch, got him. Put him on the leash. Need one more. Switch up to this little eighth ounce. It's a crappie spoon. And that guy just uh, smoked it. Cast this thing a mile, too. Easy there, Cujo. Nothing like fresh drought. Do we have some lemons? We do. Wow. And butter and Good to go. Oh my gosh. We got a jumper, babe. Spicy. We got a jumper. Maybe it'll be extra spicy for dinner. Trout number two. Just switch baits again. Come on. Oh my gosh, don't get off. Can't have you get off. Yes! Look at that spicy meatball. That is a beautiful trout. It's spicy. Wow. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look how the look at the pink colors and everything. Oh man. It's gorgeous. But 
We're gonna put them in our bellies. Let's go ahead and light the fire. Oh, big trout just came up right there. Okay, get this fire going, I'll come back. So we got a couple of trout going so far. We're for sure gonna have dinner. OSG's gonna make some amazing grits. I don't know if I've ever showed her actually making the grits, but first of all, we gotta make a fire. There's some more trout down there. This is right, right by our camp. I just saw some more jumping, so I jumped up here so I can get the fire started. Uh, I'm carrying my pouch here, my little mega pouch, and I have a tin with matches and a striker. Well, I lost my striker. Okay, that's not good. Just gonna hit it with the classic Bic instead. What's up with these lighters not working up here? There is definitely something up with altitude and lighters. Oh shoot, I found my striker. So here's what we got going on here. Primitive cooking of the trout. Look at this amazing tent we have. Woo! House is amazing. We've been setting up all day. If you guys want to go check out how that had, that went with OSG. Hey. <laughs> you can go check it out on uh, the Lake Life Family Channel. Link down below. I cut some firewood already, so we're good to go there. And we've built a, a little fire pit off to the side. And what this is going to allow us to do is to scrape our coals under here and cook using uh, using this little surrounding pit. And this is a this is a little grill off of uh, off my my propane. So instead of using the propane, we're going to use the skillet to do the grits and the fish. So a little uh, a little primitive fire action here. Steph's never quite had them fresh off the lake, so I think she's gonna find them delicious. Plus, when you work hard all day at camp and you're starving, it's gonna be good. Now I gotta get one more of these babies to fill my belly. I'm out of breath, because the altitude. OSG, yeah. how's the grits going? Uh, I started. How are you gonna cook them? In a, a skillet? Yeah, cast iron. Cast iron skillet right out here, okay. So we'll get the fire going, scrape the coals under here, and why bam, it's gonna be good. Down, tear, done. It all comes out. Amazing fish. So tasty. Two trout. Now we got to go work on our fire and get these prepared. I think Steph's going to be pretty happy with this. I caught you a delicious trout. Yay! We're having dinner. The trout clap. <laughs> Look at her go. One critical tool we forgot to bring, my dear. Yeah. The shovel. We need that. We do. I, don't I know how hot this is. I need a good recommendation on a camp shovel. Let me know in the comments. It's uh, it's pretty necessary for right now. You basically just take red hot coals and stick them under there. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'd rather just like... You go prepare the fish and I'll prepare the okay. situation over All right. here. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Hey, nice job on catching those trout. Thank you. You got a little ash on your nose. Do I? Yeah. Well, it's it's ash trout day. Did you know that? Ash trout day? All right, show us how you're doing these trout, honey. All right, I've already prepared all the essentials. Got some tin foil, cut up some butter, lemon, SPG. We're doing it super simple. Gonna That's stuff. basically what I did last time. Yeah, you're just gonna stuff the sh the, the shrimp. We're gonna stuff the trout with some butter and some mountain shrimp. They're growing. They're, they're huge. Shrimp. They're not in season right now. I say we need s'mores tonight as well. We got them. Because is that uh, what you want to do? Oh yeah, because we only have two trout. I know. So tin foil, beautiful trout skis. We also got Look at apple crisp. I was kind of tripoded in on my elk adventure. First, I didn't get to show them. We need oh oh the yeah. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, like get that Purell on there. 
This is the OSG kitchen right here, by the way. She's got it all set up. She set this up today. Doesn't mean we still. <laughs> she she glamped it out a little bit. A little bit. But this is our kitchen um, and break room. You know we need a break. It's we're working hard out there. Uh, keep some extra gear in here. Uh, camp cooking supplies are in here. Propane tank right here that goes into the tent to our heater. She's put butter in there. We brought some lemon. SPG is going in. We actually bought that at Bucky's. They had it. We ran out at our house. And we also got something else from Bucky's. Bucky's has got everything. We got one of these lids to go on our lodge. Deal to do our grits and our vegetables. I was kind of against it at first, but OSG, she, she convinced me. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't know. I just like to rough it, but now I'm enjoying the awesomeness that is the OSG kitchen available right here. This was literally what I was dreaming about when I was elk hunting. I was sitting out there in that field. It was dark. It was cold. I was cooking up. And I know I wasn't doing the best job. I was just kind of doing something for sustenance. And I was like, God, if if OSG, if Steph was here What's and, biscuits? you know, and just helping with a little fire, making some biscuits, come on now, turn it up another level. In my truck, I found, uh, found my machete. So I can actually get in here and scoop the coals out. Shovel would be really pretty awesome right now, but working with what we got. Okay, y'all, so Steph is getting the grits going in here. Put them in dry. Uh, no, I put a bunch of butter in there, and then I put okay. them in dry to soak up the butter oil. Who am I talking Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can talk to everybody. <laughs> Whoever you want. So I melted probably about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of butter, just to make sure that they don't stick. And then I put the uh, the grits in dry to soak in that butter, and then after they're kind of soaked in that butter, they, it looks kind of wet. Then you go ahead and pour in your milk, and you just kind of go from there. You just kind of shield your eyes from... Pain. Ah, I need ski goggles. We're battling a little bit of a wind here. Ah. Putting milk in the grits over a cast iron skillet. I have never done this. This is this is working out right here. Yeah, this is the first. We got our little coals down there heating the skillet. Fish is going to be next. We're gonna add some cheese to these grits as well. Oh yeah, baby. Cheese grits, baby. You gotta put on put on some calories out here. Yeah, you do. What do you think about this so far? I'm in love. I love this. <laughs> I feel like these adventures are why I know that we are soulmates. Oh. Well, because we just work so well together out here. It has been really good. You know, we've had a really crazy year, a lot of things, baby, um, a lot of house things, a lot of adventures at the house that aren't really adventures for us. It's just like... More nuisance. This is just fun. This is just kids having yeah. fun out here in the woods. There's a chance for mom and dad to get away and spend some time. Mimi is with Mimi right now. We just got a, we got a good report. She's been doing well. She slept all the way through the night. She doesn't even do that with us. What the heck? Mimi has the magic touch. So, beautiful glow of a fire, babe. I'm so glad you are here with me to experience this. And we're going to eat some awesome mountain trout. I know you really love trout. I do. I was hoping to get some kokanees, but we did not. Well, you know what? On the, on the blind taste test, though, I preferred the trout over the kokanee. You did? So you're going to get exactly what you want here. Woo! Uh, looks like your skillet's getting getting pretty hot now. That's okay. It's time to put in that fish. I don't, you know, the fish, I don't think the fish really bite good here in the evenings. I think it's more of a midday. We never got sun today, and I think they like sun. They like the bugs to come out. What we can do here, this is this is called caveman style. Literally, this is caveman style. This is what we'll do. How long do you think that it'll take the grits to be ready? Mm, five minutes. Really? Yeah, you better oh, put okay. those fish in quick. Wow, okay. okay. I'm going to wrap these babies up, and then they're going straight into the, I want to say grease. Such a white bass crappie guy. I'm gonna set him kind of on the outside here, and I'm gonna work some coals around them. 
Gotta stir them babies. I need my FPG. So I'm just gonna take some of these coals, scoop them out, and uh, I did not anticipate our fire would even be this good, this like this quick, but it's great. It's got some, some good coals. And I think the reason is that the fire, the wood burns so fast here. All these trees are, they've got these, the sap in them. They just light up like Roman candles. If you're trying to really learn, like I am, about how to make fires um, from scratch, bushcraft type stuff, this is, this is the place to do it because everywhere you have these awesome resources that you can build, build things out of wood, primitive tools, and you can also make fires really easily. And it rained all day. Mm -hmm. So this, this wood is, was wet, but it's super dry in the middle because of the, just the environment. Sorry. <laughs> Almost killed you with a machete. Yeah. Sorry, honey. Some cheesy campfire grits. They are done. I think we are just waiting on those fish. So. Yeah, we're losing light, but mm -hmm. I gotta say, some hot grits with some fish is gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. You got your oven mitts, you were prepared. Look at, look at the presentation. Look. look at the stump. Oh my gosh, I should just be like in a campfire commercial or something, I don't even know. Uh, you're straight out of the LL Bean catalog. You know it. Oh man, okay. These fish, I put, I went in, I went in hard with them. I might need to get them out a little bit. They're a little far, and they're, they're pretty deep. The grits are in good, perfect order. Now I just gotta check these fish, see how they're doing. Oh, sizzling in their juices. Oh, they're steamy. They might even be done. Oh, these look fabulous. Fireside grits. Woo! Fishes, y'all. Fishes and gritses. Let's see, can you eat all that? That's a lot of grits. Oh, babe. Here, you can have... Oh, babe, yes. <laughs> Look at those patties. Is this oh, all the grits we even have? Well, yeah, because we're not having grits any other night. We're having cornbread, we're having biscuits. <gasps> we got so many other things. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, so many surprises. Thank you for being so awesome. I love you. Just gonna take our trouts out of the tin foil, plop them on our plates here with these grits. Perfect. I just gotta, I gotta show y'all. It's so steamy and... Amazing. Get you some. Oh gosh, those uh, those juices got my hand. <laughs> but y'all, it is. Oh god. It is prime. It is prime. I think this is how we're gonna leave you today, y'all. Amazing adventures. More to come out here. I've been exploring on maps. I've been using the uh, the Fish Brain app as well, and surprised to see some catches that are coming out of some certain areas. So we just kind of got set up today and we did some just evening fishing. We're gonna enjoy our fire, enjoy the, uh, the awesomeness that is our, our new home for the next five days. Make sure to go and subscribe to the Lake Life Family channel so you don't miss what's going on over there. It's more like at the camp. And then on my channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're gonna be doing just the outdoor adventures out here in search of more mountain trout, salmon, and exploring exploring deep into the mountains, really. Oh man, the grits are amazing. Oh, thank you. So hot, steamy, gotta watch out for those bones. Oh yeah. Fresh out of the lake, an hour ago, into your mouth. Got to love it, baby. Hit the like button. I will see you guys right back here very soon in the great outdoors. Wow. Yes, please. Yes, may I have another? Yes. Man. Yeah, you could catch five more of these. I'd be okay with that. We're definitely gonna go, go catch more. No question.